This is what I'm going to talk about today, and it's, these little control units can be used for quite a lot of different things. I'm using it to control an air conditioner, for example, but a lot of people use them to control things like uh, when they're brewing beer, to keep it at a certain temperature when it's fermenting, rising bread, uh, hatching chicken eggs, uh, you know, just anything where you need a certain temperature to maintain within a certain range, you can use this thermostat to control that. It's a thermostat for my air conditioner, and I have like a, well, well, it's actually a window air conditioner, but it's not in a window in my shop. Let me show you where it is. It's up there, and I just cut a hole through the wall and stuck it out there. And the reason that I made this was when I first got it, it had a, a, a remote that came with it, and you could control it, and that was great. But then the remote died. So I was having to just unplug it every time that I needed to use it. Other than that, I had to climb on the bench to turn it on and off and that kind of thing. So I was just to plug it, plugging it in and unplugging it. And I had another one of these. Let me show you that one. This is the first one that I made. And you can see I put another outlet on the side and plugged in a transformer and then ran it back up in there. So it was kind of, kind of a clumsy design. So that's why I redesigned it. So that's the one that I made uh, years ago. It was probably, oh, I don't know, years ago, five or six years ago and I've uh, been using it for a long time and it works great. The thermostat and the other one died on me so that allowed me to control it. It's just a very simple design. It's based off of this uh, thermostat and I'll get to that in just a minute and show it to you. And then down here is a little 12 volt power supply and what it does is, is it runs, just runs that thermostat. There's a relay in here and then a toggle switch on the side so when you're through with it you just switch it off like that probably not the absolute best uh, on these air conditioners but however like I said that other one's been running for five or six years and it hasn't bothered it at all so and then to turn it on you just flip it on and away it goes you, you can set your temperature here this is the temperature that it is it's 82.9 I just came in here a little bit ago so it hasn't gotten it cooled off yet but this is what it is set to 76 and to set it, you just push the button right there, and then that starts blinking, and then you can use this as an up button, and this one as a down button. It'll toggle between, let me let it stop doing that, it just takes a couple seconds. It'll toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So it's very, very simple. This will also do heating and cooling. And then over here, well, I'll, it's hard to get this unplugged from there. It fits really tight. I'll show you the component that I have in there. Uh, to plug it into and then it just has a power cord on it that goes down and plugs into an outlet right here all right let's go to the bench and i'll show you the components that i actually have in there here's the components that i used and i'll link all these in the description for you in case you're interested in uh, making one of these but this is just a little 12 volt power supply it's one amp you could also use a wall wart that you plug into the wall and then run the 12 volts up separately i just kind of liked it all in one unit but uh, probably makes it harder than it has to be and the 12 volts you just need 12 volts in order to power this thermostat right here and also your relay is, is going to be 12 volts too this little thermostat and i'll link all this in the description for you so you'll be able to find it this is a w1209wk digital thermostat and they're really versatile little units. I'll do another video on how to how you set these up and uh, change the settings on them and stuff like that because it's kind of uh, tedious and boring. So I'll save that for another video. <laughs> That's like, I'll save that for another boring video. All right, so uh, this is the heart of it, and this this is the little tail that comes off of it. And these units will work for heating and cooling both. So. Uh, if you're interested in this project, you could use it not only to control an air conditioner, but you could use it to control, you know, some type of a heating unit or something like that, too. Now, these say, when you buy them, they say that they'll run 10 amps. It's got a tiny little uh, relay on here, and a lot of the reviews and stuff talk about these things burning up and all that, and that's because I don't think these things will do, let me see what it says it'll do on it. Yeah, it says 20 amps on that little, on that little relay. I would not trust it. So anyway, I run, I use this to control this relay, and I'll show you a wiring diagram here in just a second. And then it outputs to, this is where I, what I plug the air conditioner into, it's just a little outlet that I put into the side. And of course I 3D printed the box 
that it's in. So it's really a simple thing. Let me get the diagram and I'll show that to you. These little thermostats are actually very easy to wire. They've got a positive and negative DC input in a range. I'm using 12 volts, but the um, I'll post what the range is. And then over here, this is just your contacts. It's a normally open uh, relay. And so you just put, you know, the what you're going to contact through there. And of course I use this to uh, operate another relay. So let me show you how that works. And here's the, the diagram. And I'll post this diagram on my website so you'd be able to download it and look at it if you want to. So here's your 12 volt transformer or 12 volt battery or whatever it is that you want to use this thing. And then here's your thermostat right here. And so you've got 12 volts negative goes in and 12 volts positive goes in. And then you're going to take that negative side uh, I'm using that negative side to run my relay. So the negative side comes in here and then the, the thermostat will switch it. And when it wants to cool more or heat more, depending on which way you have it set. And of course, there, like I said, there's another video that shows you how to do that. And it will then send that negative over here to this relay. So the relay is picking up positive right here and then it's going to get negative from the thermostat. That will close your relay when the thermostat tells it to. So right now the relay is in the open position. So this is you've got 110 volts because you could do 220 or whatever it is that your relay is capable of and whatever you needed it to do. You want to make sure that your relay is rated enough amps to control whatever it is that you're going to control. So if you're going to control a heater or you're going to control an air conditioner, you need to make sure that your relay is rated for a high enough amps to manage that. And I'll show you here in a second how you can uh, read that. But anyway, so then uh, the thermostat will activate your relay. It'll close this contact right here, which means that it's sending AC is going to your AC unit on one side, and then the other side is switched right here by the relay. When it fires, it'll send the, the other side over there and make that run. Now, of course, your air conditioner, I have mine set to the lowest setting that it'll go to because every time the thermostat tells it to cool, I want it to cool. So it just kind of by that if you set this to its the lowest setting, that just kind of bypasses the thermostat that's actually in the air conditioner. So that's how the wiring works. Now the easiest way to figure out what size relay you need to me is to use one of these kilowatts. And I have a video on this. I'll try to link it at the end or and also in the description for you in case you want to watch that video. I'll also link this kilowatt in there, but you can plug this in, you plug it into the wall, and then you plug in whatever it is that you're using, and when you set it, it'll tell you how many watts it's using, how many amps it's using, or whatever it is that you want to know about it. Um, and so these are really handy. They're not really expensive. I can't remember how much it is. But anyway, I'll post it in the description so that you can look at it. All right, well, I hope that was interesting to you and maybe gave you some ideas of how something like this might be useful to you. Thank you for watching.